Okay, we're at Neumeyer Station. And here you go, folks. We're going to take the sun back, and we're going to show you the super giants. And that black blotch is the mass that's up next to it, way off in space. We've showed you on a lot of shots. The Vatican looked at it a long time ago with the telescope on the space shuttles. And you can see some of the aurora as the sun comes up. Basically the super giants and the sun. As you see how bright they are, down there they really don't completely go away. So we're going to step forward now. And here we come. Here comes the super giants. And the sun. And you get the aurora. I'm going to back up just for a second. There's some auroral action there. Which is very unusual for down in the Antarctic. Not really, but they do get it. Usually mauve and so forth down there. Here comes the super giants in the sun. Very bright. And then we'll get the sun. And you watch the clock. We're going to get to like 520, 30. And plus the, it's got the object with it. I'm back up a little bit. You see, see it's got the object with it. And you can know that it's not, because we'll all show you that there's such brightness that the idea that the object really is there. Everybody always tries to say, oh, the, the, the damn camera's locking it out. No, it's not. And then you see the signature of the sun on the backside with the elements that are in between us and the sun there. And actually, uh, you should be able to see uh, And now here will come, and there it is. There is more than likely the reflection of the mass, and or the baby dwarf, and you can't miss it right there. On that shot, I'll blow up, and we'll go up to like, we'll go 200, and there you can't miss it. And then we'll slide down, I'll back up on it, and then we're going to go to the south camera in a few seconds. And we'll finish showing you this here, and you can't miss that there. And right now, we'll blow in on it. We'll go to 400. It's not the first time I've showed it to you. And then there it is. And then we'll actually step ahead one, because I think it'll come through clearer on the next shot. And it's clearer here, and it's right there. And we'll blow it up. First, we'll go to 400. Then we'll probably just bop it all the way up to... 600 or 800 here. And there you go. You can see the top of the station to the right, and you can't miss it there. Fly down a little bit. And there's the Marine Arts station to the right. A little portable windmill to the left. And we'll blow it up to customize it to. We'll just go ahead and bam to 800. I think we're there, and there you go, it's right there. It actually even has some kind of intensity to it because it actually makes a ripple in the cloud, ladies and gentlemen. See how it makes a ripple in the cloud right there? You can't miss it. It's there. And we'll pop down. There you go. It's there. Okay, now. We backed up on that, and like I said, it's like the, the well, you look at 650, and then we'll back up because I'm going to show you like at five. Because as as we leave, then we go to the south camera. Okay, and here it comes. The sun is very bright. Now, if it was going to black out, it'd black out right now, and it doesn't. Okay, then we step, and there's our object to the side of it, and as you see, you're going to see the shape of it change because it rolls, and you get like that chestnut look on it. I think it'll be in this shot here. It'll be, it's going to turn to a chestnut look. And this is a south camera. And there, it gets it to be like a chestnut. Or oak leaf nut. Sorry about that. It's got that high crown on it
And then you get that. So that's our object, and you can't admit, you can't discriminate that. You've seen it on the the high shots, being when the red and stuff like that, and you've seen it. And that's our object right there. That's up by the sun. And there it is. Not no bright blowout of a camera doing something. It's actual object, and it's there. Matter of fact, we're gonna zoom in on it a little bit more, just for the hell of it. We'll go ahead and custom. Put the 800 on it. And there you go. It's not no blotch out of the brightest part of the sun like everybody tries to disinfo on it. It's usually the same one that always goes they don't like the video. Alright, that's no blotch out of the brightest part of the sun. That's our that's our object. And then as it goes along, you see it changes shape. And you see how we got the terahydrin, tetrahydrin right there. Basically mirroring from the objects that are between us and the sun. And you can remember and go watch all my videos on the stuff with the Hawaii footage with all the remnants that are between us and the sun. They're massive out there, massive objects. Way bigger than even Jupiter, probably even Neptune and Pluto. And here as you see, we get the flare that comes around from the sun. Because on the back side of this object, the sun is mirroring off and throwing that arrow like that out. There you go. And then we'll step it back, and there you'll see this, and then this will come across the Earth. That's the only reflection we're getting from stuff between there, the sun and us. And there you go. And it's blue and red. The blue and red Kachina. And that's your object, the blue and red kachina, because it changes colors. Because it bends color from the sun in space. Blue and red. Red hot from the sun and blue from the coolness of space. And that's your object, and I blew it up earlier. So that's your fresh stuff there. Let's go see what we got going on on Earthquakes, see if we got anything new. Doesn't look like anything new. No, for, actually it is, 4.8, and we got another one up there with Greenland and ice and above, way up high, North Pole. So that's very interesting. Now, lately, we had a lot of stuff looping, and Yellowstone's been pretty active. It's not showing up here. If you go to Intellicast, it's on there. But Yellowstone had some action, and the graphs were very widespread ink. So I'm wondering if they underread them a little bit on Yellowstone. And we've had a lot of activity. Matter of fact, let me go to Intellicast and show you what's going on in telecast. And there's our big long line again over Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, okay? We go back around there, you see that big long riff of, and basically I don't even, I won't even be able to get it. I don't have a mouse on me and I won't be able to, there you go, that's the bottom of them. Check out all those quakes, Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico area. Below the Mariana Trench and then we had that wild action mid, Atlantic mid there. Now, what the most important thing is to check out this circle that we got. And like I said, they only shoot 2.1 2 and 1.7 in Yellowstone. Check out all the fires we're getting. And check out the circle that we got. All the Northern California stuff and the Northern Nevada stuff. We've got a big footprint here. Big circular. There has been stuff farther north than what I'm going to show you on the British Columbia one here right there. There's been stuff farther north than that. So we're getting a big footprint right here. Plus also the idea if you figure if you want to add that footprint to California here, the whole west coast. Now I'm not trying to scare anybody, just showing you what's going on. Okay, and then also Alaska's been hammering and hammering and hammering just like the Mariana Trench. Okay. Now on this, I want to just probably back out and see what we got for the latest on this. But we got that big circle, like I say. Basically, the Yellowstone, if you go to the graphs, Yellowstone looks pretty freaky on the graphs. But as far as them reading it, they're reading it, I believe, a little low. And we had a bigger one down in Mexico there, 5.0 in the Gulf of California down there. So we'll minus out some more and see what we got. Hopefully we'll get the map to work off for us, all right? 
And there you go. Should be able to scan around the world now. So, I would think Australia and stuff will pick up tonight with some more action. And like I just showed you, we just had one up on by north in the Antarctic. I mean, in the in the north on the North Pole, not the Antarctic. So we'll minus this out some more and see if we can get out some more. Here you up with the Indian chief, the Indian warrior, and the lion or wolf's head. We got a 4.8 Svalbard region. So that's the latest on the earthquakes. Let's go ahead and pull up. See if we got anything new. We better get the earth spinning in the right direction. So that's still the pressure, so. But like I say, lots of quakes. That's our precious quake, and let's see what's 14 days old or so. There you go. You can't help that Mariana Trench. And, and let's see what they don't really show you on the East Coast, too. Hang on. So here you got Iceland and everything. They had a lot of different area quakes there. It's not just the one. It's kind of a swarm up there. Norwegian Sea. Svalbard region, 4.4, started with a 4.3, 4.4, 4.8, so, Italy's got some action again, look at that, Italy's hammering again, 3.6, close, lots of earthquakes, lots of earthquakes, Look at the second page for the hell of it. No, lots of fives. Lots of fives. There's your race in the East Coast shit and everything on the West Coast. fire all the ring of fire right there there's the ring of fire well there you go you got to look at a lot of sites to get it all got to look at a lot of sites to get it all 